the thing that probably annoys me the most is the lack of PPE or protective clothing at a crime scene. I think every example I watch, whether it's Dexter, whether it's Silent Witness, Broadchurch, they all tend to be walking about and sometimes they'll have a glove on or they'll maybe have a glove and a mask. But the reality is you would be fully dressed in PPE or you wouldn't get anywhere near a crime scene. And also there's a cast of thousands there. The, the whole thing about a crime scene is you do not want to contaminate it. You don't want to contaminate yourself. You don't want to destroy any evidence. So protective clothing, things like tread plates, controlling who enters the scene, how you enter the scene, that's all really important. Um, and they all turn up looking incredibly glamorous in their nice clothes, whereas, you know, in reality, you're head to toe in PPE. And, um, and it's hot and it's sweaty wearing PPE and it's not glamorous at all. And up here, there's no flattened grass or slippage, no loose rocks, no fibres, no hand marks, no sense of a downward trajectory. I mean, he didn't fall? In real life, there will be a police presence at a crime scene. The police will be guarding the crime scene. Um, they will guard the cordon and you will have a crime scene manager who is a police officer, but you won't have the senior officer coming on down and asking questions and giving you theories and taking all the evidence live as you go along. That doesn't happen. They're busy doing their own job, but just running the investigation. But I think the other thing to remember as a forensic scientist is impartial. We're not there with the SIO or the, the investigating officer on our shoulder saying, oh, we need you to prove this. This is our theory. You know, that doesn't make for an impartial examination, but on television, they seem to sort of work in the pocket of the investigating officer and they almost seem to be directing the scientist and the scientist is giving them information in real time. You ask me, someone tried to make it look like an accident. I don't think he was up here. In reality, you'd all sit down and have a briefing prior to the crime scene. The people who needed to be in the crime scene would go to the crime scene, they would do their job, they would then leave and perhaps you'd have a briefing afterwards. Um, and then everyone would catch up on what had been done, but certainly don't have the police walking around with you with their theories and then you're looking to sort of back up their theories. That's really not how you want to work. Because at the end of the day, you want to gather your evidence. Then once you start to analyse your evidence, you start to, to look at what you've got, perhaps theories will arise from them, but it's not my job to come up with theories. And certainly the SIO's job is not to be wondering about a crime scene. Um, asking me what I think there and then, that would be an awful lot of unnecessary pressure and potential contamination. So no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs>